Playing the guitar is all about vibrations. The guitar uses vibrating strings to generate the tones that the audience hears. Strings under tension vibrate at a specific frequency or pitch. So if the song that you're hearing is in tune, it's because those guitar strings are vibrating correctly. A good set of strings is behind many a soulful tune. They're an important part of a guitar's sound. To make a guitar string, they start with the steel core wire that they examine under a zoom stereo microscope. They magnify it 100 times looking for flaws in the hexagonal wire. Next, they measure the core wire's diameter with a digital micrometer. It has to be just the right size. Now they coil the wrap wire made of nickel-plated steel around posts on the instrument testing machine. This machine stretches the wire until it breaks. It's a test of its ability to perform under tension. A computer measures the distance and the amount of load the wire was under before it broke to determine how much tension this string can take. Now the core wire undergoes a twist test. They loop the wire onto a hook in a machine called a torsion tester. It spins rapidly, twisting the core wire until it breaks. This is a test of the wire's strength and elasticity. These plastic hoppers are full of ball ends. This machine is called a ball end sorter. Hollow pistons move up and down, selecting one ball end at a time. This ensures that only those of the proper size will get through. The ball lens shoot out of the pistons into a bucket underneath. From here, they'll go to the core string machine. A mechanism places the ball ends on a pin as they drop from a hopper. Rollers feed the core wire into a clamping guide, which aligns it with the ball end. Then the pin spins, twisting the wire into a neat loop around the ball end. This is the twisting action in slow motion. The core strings with the ball ends now attached drop into a repository. Then a worker hooks a ball end with its core wire onto the string winder and he loops bronze wrap wire around the core wire. A string winding carriage guides the bronze wire down the length of the core wire as it wraps around. The electrically powered winder spins the core wire and it's that action that grabs the wrap wire as the carriage ensures that it gets wrapped neatly. Computerized sensors monitor the speed that the string is wound at as well as the tension. The winder applies a critical amount of tension as it wraps the bronze wiring around the core. They're bundled up like straw, 144 wires to the bunch. Guitar strings are also made from nylon. They hook the nylon core material onto a winder, pulling it down from a big spool. Next, they loop silver-plated copper wrap wire onto the nylon. The hook spins and this coils the wrap wire around the nylon string, binding it. Again, a carriage system run by an electric motor ensures that everything falls into place. A worker removes the strings and hangs them on a rack. Gravity causes the strings to slide into a station where workers coil them and then place them on a conveyor belt. Further down the line, another worker puts them in a bag that has a gas neutralizing barrier built into the plastic to prevent corrosion. And now these strings are ready for some playing.